recording. So earlier today, we saw this sentence, which was, Mado saki ga fukurande. What does fukuramu mean? Fukurande. Uh, don't remind me. I just learned this. Uh, fukurande. Fuku. To spread out. Basically, specifically, it's to expand, to get bigger. To expand, yes. Hi. That's how it's a little bit different than Hirogaru, which is literally the spread out. It's they're they're very similar, but basically think about like if if you've ever heard of how people make bread, the way how bread expands would be fukuramu. You wouldn't really use hirogeru for that because it's it's kind of like contained in a way. It's just the size of the object gets bigger. Fuku fukurande. Hi. Fukurande. Um. So let's go read our next sentence. Hi. Don don omoku. Don don fukuran de iku. Don don is step by step, right? Hi. Slowly. Umoku. Um. Describing um, this iku, meaning um, it's increasingly getting heavier. Don don fukuran de increasingly getting larger. Yes. So don don, you're hundred percent step by step. It is not slowly though. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, if you're saying it's slowly getting bigger, it, it gives off like a very like slow meaning in English. But Hi. don don does not have that slow meaning in it. It's definitely not fast. So don don isn't fast, and it also is not slow. Hi, steadily. Really, step by step, steadily is a good way of thinking about it. Step by Hi. step, one by one. Tends to be like how it kind of goes. Like it basically means one after the other. So as soon as it gets one amount of heaviness, it gets more and more. So more, more and more is the closest to um don don. So more it doesn't really more. have that much of a speed meaning with it. Um, Hi. our next verb is tutuma. Tutuma means to wrap, like wrapping presents. Um, what's this kanji? Tutuma. Hi. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Ma jutsu shi wa mado seki o kami ni tsunda. Hi. The magician wraps the stone into or towards the direction of mm. the kami. Hi, that can be what it is. With ni modifying to move, it's kind of like how you're wrapping it. How how are we wrapping this rock? We're wrapping it with paper, theoretically, but you use ni to be like the way you wrap it is of paper, kind of. So you're using the paper to wrap it. <laughs> Reason I got confused was that should have been dead. Exactly. Yeah. In my has, mind, it was. It it can't. I feel like it could be dead, but it, it uh the default verb for tutuma is ni for uh, <laughs> the tool you're using. You can think of the kind of wrapping. What kind of wrapping are you doing? I mean, you're doing wrapping of paper, <laughs> paper kind of wrapping. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, so tutumu can make the word uh tutumi komu, which is basically like to wrap up. So tutumu on itself is to wrap and komu is basically the same thing, but you're just, you're focusing less on who's doing the wrapping and more like wrapping happen kind of like, like not, not exactly like that, but uh, you wouldn't really use tutumi komu if you were physically wrapping something with paper. Uh, it makes sense in the context where this is being used. Something like wraps around you just cause, I guess. Tutumi komu, hi. Hi. Um, so sa. So all e adjectives, you can drop the e and just add sa to it to kind of turn this into a very specific kind of noun. So what is this first word? Tsumetai. Hi. So this is cold. Tsumetasa is like the level of cold, like how cold. How cold. The or the coldness. Hi. You will also see, like, for example, okisa is like the size of something. It's how big, the the bigness of the item. It's Hi. it's not really a, it's not a question, but it's like a 
mystery box of coldness of uh, whatever adjective you're doing. Hi. Um, can you do me a favor and read this for me? Tsumetasa wa machutsu shi o tsusumi komu. Hi. Okay, so the sentence start with the coldness. Hi. Sutsumi komu. Oh. The cold wraps around the magician. Soul, soul. Yeah. So you can think of it like a little bit more of an enveloping than like necessarily wrapping a present. So that's the right. coldness. It's like, you are my... It's coming magician. to get him. It's soul, soul. <laughs> It wants a piece of him. Soul, soul. It's alive. It's alive. Um, do you happen to recognize this kanji? Hi, it's Roku. It does look like Roku. Uh, no, don't, Roku. Don't, don't help me. Don't help me. There's it's six, Hana. Sorry. It's the cave. <laughs> it is not. It's not the cave. It's very close to cave, but Hana doesn't mean cave. Hana can be H Hana is flower or nose. Um, so there's the nose. Hana. 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 Okay. Hana. Hana. You, you, you were getting like closer. <laughs> it, cave is definitely very close to what an Ana is. An Ana is a hole. A hole. Hi. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, you were it. really close. Six is super close. And then you were like, okay, Hana was Hana was really close with the her yeah. So yeah, Hana is whole. So Hana. let's go read this sentence. Dorobo wa Furai Ana no Honi Aruita. Hi. Okay, so the topic is the thief. Ni the destinations. Kurai ana no ho. What is ho ni? Ho is ho. direction. Ho is the direction. Okay, so the thief walk. He walked towards the direction of the black hole. Yep, the dark hole. The dark hole. Hi. So kura, kurai and um, kuro together makes a word that's not pronounced like how it normally is, which is ankoku. Ankoku. Hi, ankoku. Uh, and it just means darkness, like yami. Hi. Basically the same word. Um, can you read this sentence for me? Ankoku no ana ni suberi konda. Suberi konda. This is the word you definitely struggle with. I, I don't help me because I messed it up too many times. Suberi konda is to, to to hide. That's a good guess. That's kakusu. To slip? Yes. Suberu is to slip and komu is like to go into something. So suberi komu means to slip inside. Um, it doesn't have, it's just like the word slip in English, where it could be, ah, I'm falling down, or it could also be like to sneak into something. So both of those are possible translations you could use in this context. So do so, you think they slipped into the Anna or that they slipped? As in they <laughs> sneak into, into, they slide into the Hana. So which one do you into think? Into the Anna, Anna. Um, well, he, there's nothing for him to slip into it, so he he must be sliding into the hole. Could be either, but yeah, that's what like a snake to. sliding into sliding the... into. So that is definitely possible. The height, the slip into the darkness, the hole of darkness. So right here, this is a subedi komu we just saw, but with the actual kanji that go with it. Uh, the book, this book doesn't use these kanji because it's for, uh, someone who doesn't know that kanji yet. But this is a word that has three verbs put together to make one verb using that compound thing. Can you read it for me? Hiki suberi komu. Hi. What does hiku mean? To pull back. Yeah, to pull. Um, so this means to pull something so that it slips into you. Right? To pull something in. 
Just to pull something in. Got yeah. it. So something from the evil hole is like, you are mine mm. now. <laughs> drawn drawn it in so pull yeah, it in. like fishing in a way so so uh can you read the sentence for me hi uh karada o ana ni uh kiki suberi komu komu that isn't ki but you do Hi. know it hi kiki kiki suberi komu so the um draw the body into the hole exactly the body will be drawn into the hole our next word is uzumaku you've ever seen um naruto his last name is uzumaki uh, it's uzumaki uh that means uzu is whirlpool and the uzumaku is a verb that means the whirlpool action the swirly to, to oh. swirl oh. So his last I name is know. Whirlpool uh, Uzumaki. Wait, so, do you happen really? to know what Naruto mean then? Oh, that <laughs> who doesn't know what Naruto means? You gotta if you watch the anime, they're like, here's some Naruto. It's in the it's in the ramen. It's the ramen. It's the thing that the, the white little the pink. It's the, it's the white pink thing in the ramen. I don't know. I don't, the fish <laughs> cake. Oh my goodness! That, so that's, that's what the it's joke. Called. They're like, oh, it's not. It's not. It is or it isn't. It is. That, that's what his name is. His name is Naruto. His name is Naruto. Yeah, oh, so goodness. not a real name. Anyway, <laughs> can you read the sentence for me? Hi. Um, on Angoku ga Uzumaku. The darkness swirl. Yes, it does. So with this verb, it can take o rather than ga. Just kind of depends on what you want to insinuate. <laughs> if you want to simulate something, make something swirl, and you use oh. If you're saying this thing is doing the swirling on its own, you use ga. Um, hey. So I decided ga in this context made logical sense versus oh, because hey. it takes both. Um, next is tsuini. This is another way to say suddenly. So many ways in Japanese. Tsuini, um, futo, can I? Totozen. Hi. So earlier was sarani. Hi, sarani. Meaning more yes. further this is sui ni hi suddenly yes hi um okay let's go read our line from the book hi sui ni i ishi no tsumeta sa ga karada o tsumi konde ore wa Uzumaku angoku no ana e to hikizuri komareta. Hi. So I told you to name it suddenly, but I lied to you. Uh, it means um at last. At last. Finally. Finally. Okay. Sorry. So this, the subject is Ishi no sumeta sa. The coldness of the rock. Hi. And what does it do? Karada o tsumi konda. It envelops the body. And ore wa suzumaku angoku no anae to. I'm not a to towards the direct and then the action is hikizu hiki hikizuri komare hikizuri zuri zuri is to slip in zuri komare ta uh just to, to be pulled into the direction of the hole the black hole the black whirlpool I got pulled into the direction of the black whirlpool. Hi. So rather than the noun whirlpool, it's like the darkness, the darkness is doing this, right? It's doing the whirlpool. And it's a hole. So, sorry, this thing just popped up. Ah. Hi. So we have so. a black hole that is 
whirling Whoa. around Whoa. and um it drags me into it um key. Key. i i'm i'm pretty sure this is um topic wall rather than subject wall <laughs> wait so okay it pulled I, me it pulled me yeah. i didn't pull myself in there yeah i'm being pulled okay. uh and do you remember how this guy's pronounced Hanare nai. Hi, Hanare nai. What does it mean? S cannot separate. True, true. And how about this guy up here? Kori. Hi, Kori. And this guy? Hanaso. Hanaso. Perfect. To release. Um, do you recognize this kanji? Kaze. Hi, Kaze. And can you read the sentence for me? Kori no yo na kaze wa. Sumetai. The wind that is like ice is cold. Hi. And the next word is tsuki sasaru. This is um to be stabbed. Um, but not like but normally more metaphorical. Uh and it is a u verb, so it's r plus u. What is sasaru by itself? Um so sasu by itself is to stab, to actually stab somebody with a knife. And tuki is to poke. Uh, stab and poke. So poke, poke stab, stab. Poke then, stab. Poke stab, stab poke. <laughs> um, okay. So this is um to pierce, actually, I think is the how they define it, to pierce. But you say this is metaphorical? Uh, It is in the context. I just was saying it's not stabbing somebody with a knife. <laughs> would be sa 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 uh, this is to be pierced uh, in the context they're using it metaphorically um suki sasaru hai to be pierced um can you read this sentence for me kaze ga karada ni suki sasashita hai suki sasashita Oh, yeah, this should be sasashita. You you read it right originally, oh, even though it, it wasn't there. Like you you read you read it right, even though you were not reading it right. Um, I had I I had sasu here rather than um. Sasu? I had well, uh, tuki sasu. Uh, tuki is a word, and tuki sasaru is a word. With the tuki right there. They're, they're both oh. words. Um, the difference is that one of them is the to be stabbed versus to stab. I mean, to pierce. Hi. So this is just the ta form. So. Hi. Ta ke. Yeah, what is it saying? Uh, it's say the, the wind. Hi. Karada ni. The wind stabbed the body. Yeah, the wind stabbed the body. Pierces gonna, the body. I'm going to go way over here real quick to make sure I'm right. Uh, okay. Yeah. The wind pierces the body. Yep. Doo -doo -doo. I was making sure I didn't like mess up that sentence because I had the wrong verb there. Uh, right. Do you know what hone means? Hone is bone. Right. Bone. Nice. What does this sentence say? Hone ga karada ni suki sa sta. Sasa sta. Sata, 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 sata. Hi. Hi. What does that mean? It means that the bone pierces the body. Exactly. Perfect. And do you know what hibiku means? Hibiku. We had this verb already Probably. from chapter one, from mm. the first page. The town, the town was echoing. Yes. Silence. So, so he be good. Hey, he be good. So now you're gonna be first to learn he be good. On the bright side, that does have the oto kanji inside of it, so that's kind of nice. Has sound in it. Hi. Hey. So yeah, he be good. He be good. He be good. Nice. Um, can you read this for me? Kaze no oto ga he be good. The sound that's... of the wind echoes. Perfect. Um, next word is hari. Which means needle. 
And Hype. if you were ever in the fan fiction scene, they went like crazy whenever Harry Potter would be like, go to Japan. They always name him Huddy. Like, oh, that's going to make his name Needle. Huddy. Ah, Harry. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Huddy. <laughs> oh, it's like Needle Sand. And I'm like, why are you doing that? Stop it. Uh, but it, it was it was so big in the fan fiction speed. <laughs> I was like, why? Um, but anyway, let's go read this sentence. Hi. Huddy got. So the the following the sound of the hmm, okay I will try this the sound of the needle falling echo perfect but why God and not no um you could have no in this previous sentence. Because this is a relative clause and you can replace ga with no in relative clauses. So you could do that. That would be grammatical. Ah, uh, you can um, replace I, ga with a no. Yes. Because it's a relative clause. So you're, you're correct. That could be no. That would not have been wrong. That would have been correct. Um, so we saw this word. Remember what this was? Harry. Yep. Hari. 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 This kanji is pretty nice. We got a, like a needle thing sticking right here and then gold. So golden Hi. needle. Hari. Um and I'm going to teleport real quick and just pretend that the right verb was always written here. Um, Hi. retrospective action. So <laughs> <laughs> um can you read the sentence? Hari ga karada ni suki sasata. The needle pierces the body. Perfect. And the sentence? Kaze no oto ga karada ni hibiku. Hi. The sound of the wind echo towards the body. Exactly. So it's kind of like saying in the body in this context. Oh, in the body. Like, I'm sorry. Kind of. It means towards the body, literally, but it's like in, like, it's echoing, like, through the body, kind of. It's going to, yeah. Okay. So let's go read our line from the book. Hi. Kaze ga. Kori no hari no yo ni suki sasari. Kaze no oto ga go go wa go wa. To. <laughs> That's actually go go. You're right first. Oh, go go. Hane no hane ni hibiku. Hone. Hone ni hibiku. Yep. So, first off, what does the wind do? The wind pierces like a needle, like an ice needle. Yep, like a needle of ice, like it was made out of ice. And um, what else does it do? The sound of the wind um, echoes towards the bone. The, bo so, the bone echoes, mm, right? The, the, towards really the bone. It's like towards the bone. The wind is like making his, I guess it's the, it is kind of making his bones echo. It's like the wind kind of like reverberates through his bones and a goal goal kind of sound. This, so this so. is the sound of the wind and it's echoing into his bones. So, the sound of the wind echoes. Yeah, so into it's kind of like when you say you're old and like, oh, the blow, wind blows straight through me. It's kind of like that. Yes. He's become very porous. So, so. Um, uh, do you know what areru means? Areru, areru. This is kind of like the word violent, which is not spelled like that. Areru. And rough, some kind of areru. So this is a lot of times used to describe things like the sea, for example. Um, I can't think of the word that does that. But anyway, it means very violent and rough. Um, do you recognize this kanji? Yes. Uh, like an air, like a puff of so, air. So, um, to inhale, to suck. It's in. actually the opposite. It is to blow. To blow out. You I know see. what blow is? Mm -mm, no. It is fuku. 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 Hi. Fuku. Fuku. How would you say the wind blows? Kaze ga or kaze wa fuku. It is ga. So it's not wa in this context. Because there's no intent. Intent? 
なんかずがふく。はい。はい um, so, ふきあれる is happening when we take あれる which is to be violent, and we're adding ふく to blow. So, together it is violent blowing, or, you know, like very bad, violent wind. You know, it's very windy. ふきあれる。はい。Uh, this is a do verb. Hi.、Um, can you read the sentence for me? Yami no naka no kaze ga fuki areta. The wind, uh, this naka, it's like the wind in the shadow blew violently. Exactly. Perfect. And our next word is nozoku. This means to peek at something, to look at something.、Um, it's different than midu because it kind of insinuates that you squint a little bit, okay? So that's how, that's how I'm showing they're different. So if you're squinting a little bit, you're probably nozokuing and not miduing. You're, you're doing some kind of looking. Doing some, it's also used for like observation and stuff.、Um, so nozoku, a lot of times we'll take o, which it kind of just means like you're looking at something in a peering kind of way. You use ni if you're looking into something. So if I said、um, ana ni nozoki komu, that's like peering into the hole. Ana o nozoku is more like looking at the hole. So at versus like in. Hi.、Um, and our next word is arawaredu, which is for whatever reason one of my favorite words because it just flows off the tongue. Arawaredu. This means to appear. Hi. And it's a super important word to learn in Japanese. I don't know what to do. But it's a peer, not like a das kind of、right. a, an appear, right?、Um, this is kind of like a natural appearance. So、um, this is non intent, kind of. So this, is, this word also shows up if you're talking like in linguistics, saying, How do human beings talk? Well, this certain form of words will appear in human speak. They'll use I don't know what to do in that context as well, maybe with a slightly different kanji.、Um, I... But this is kind of just like it, it happens to appear. Dasu is to make something appear. There's some intent in there. Like I appear on stage because I'm a magician. That'd be o、oh, dasu versus ada w a t a d u is just like, oh, somebody appeared. So、um, the point of view could be depending on which one you use. So、um, that, 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 but the, the literal difference is just dasu is like something appears, but it's like, Somebody made that happen and, th- and you're focusing on that. So、Hi. someone could auto what I do and have meant to do that. But the point of using auto what I do is that you're not focusing on that fact. Understood. Hi. And I think this will be our last sentence of the day. Can you read it for me? Anao nozoku to dorobo no kao ga arawareta. Hi. So, what happened first?、Uh, squinting or picking, it, picking at the hole. Then the face of the thief a p p e a r Exactly. So, theoretically, you could say, d o r o b o ga dashita or detta or something like that.、Uh, it's just the main difference is that dedu feels like it's appearing, but they're like trying to appear. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's coming.、Uh, the the peering's not done. They're they're still like moving, kind of. And this is just kind of like the existence is now there. Like you didn't notice it, but it's here. It's kind of auto want to do.、Uh, yeah, that cool. It's very similar. And that is where we will stop for the day. Let's think about how I'm going to mark that. Shade. What's that going? Uh, any questions before we go? No questions. Cool. Great、then. class. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you, Mani. Bye. See you then. Bye bye.